My name is Sam Kusano from Agile Technologies, and today I'd like to introduce our new idea to measure passive intermodulation or PIM with network analyzer. <coughs> okay, uh, let me talk a little bit about PIM, passive intermodulation. If you put two tones to the active device, it can create uh, uh, intermodulation signal. And usually it is active device to create uh, intermodulation uh, signals. However, it, can, uh, it, it is possible to create intermodulation with the passive device as well. However, it is difficult to measure uh, passive intermodulation in a normal case because passive intermodulation is very small. But if you put high power like 20, uh, 20 watts or 43 dBm to a passive device, you can actually measure PIM and it is a problem. And <clears throat> This figure shows a model of the BDS base station, uh, base transmission station system. And <clears throat> inner modulation signals can be generated in the passive device like cables, connectors, or antennas, every passive device. And if the PIM, passive inner modulation, falls into the RX pass of the base station system, it can be a noise for RX, band, RX pass. So it is a problem. And this is a model of the 900 G G GSM system. And let's say if we have 930 and 950 megahertz uh, two tones, and it creates 910 megahertz PIM, and it falls into the RX pass, it can be a noise for the RX pass. And this is a measurement concept for PIM, how we measure PIM. We have to have two signal sources and two power amplifiers. And after we boot, boost the power, we combine it. And we have to have two clean signals at here at TX pass. <coughs> at TX pass. Because uh, if we have uh, IMs here, we cannot measure PIM. So we have to clean up these IMs created by PA, by TX filter and duplexer. And now we have very clean two-tone signals here. And we measure reflected PIM at here. And these signals <coughs> goes back to the measurement system. And we measure the PIM with a uh, tuned receiver. This is a very basic PIM measurement uh, idea. <coughs> and the key part of this measurement is actually duplexer. We have to have low PIM duplexer than uh, actual DUT. If the PIM of the du duplexer is higher than DUT, we cannot measure the PIM of the DUT. OK, here's two conventional PIM measurement solutions. One is dedicated PIM analyzer and SA and SG PIM based PIM analyzer. And the measurement idea is the same as the previous slide. We have two signal sources, two power amplifiers, combiners, and duplexers. And Usually, the measurement system is the bounded solution. We have to have bounded uh, passive component and also PIM mod, uh, power amplifier. And also, also SA and SG based system, we have to have signal generators, two generators, and also signal analyzers. And most of the case, the measurement speed of this solution is the problem because we have to send each frequency to have each uh, frequency measurement to the instruments. And here is our new proposal using network analyzer. We use uh, signal generator and network analyzer. And we use uh, signal generator of the network analyzer and receiver of the network analyzer. And other parts are the same as the previous slide. And <coughs> because network analyzer have um, frequency offset feature, that is, uh, we can have two different frequency for source and receiver. That means we can have three different frequency to measure PIM. And our, the key benefits of this solution is, one, flexible uh, configuration and faster measurement speed and more accurate measurement. Let me show detail. OK, flexible configuration. Because we use network analyzer to measure PIM, by using switch, we can measure S parameter with the same configuration. And also, 
with the conventional solution, we have to have different, freq uh, different analyzer for each frequency band. But by using uh, this new system, we can have um, multiple frequency system in one solution, plus network uh, S parameter measurement. So it's more flexible con configuration is available with our new uh, solution. And faster measurement. <coughs> This is a measurement speed comparison against a conventional PIM analyzer and with the same measurement uh, setup like um, down sweep total number of points is 72 points, 800 megahertz frequency band with 43 dBm output power. And with the conventional equipment, it took more than 20 seconds, but with our new solution, it's less than 10 seconds. And we can change the measurement speed with an um, IF bandwidth. I, I will show later on more detail, but by changing the IF bandwidth, we can have much, much faster measurement speed than conventional uh, equipment. And more accurate measurement. Because network analyzer supports user calibration. And by using a uh, power sensor, we can have user calibration of the whole configuration. So users can have daily calibration of the system for a more better accuracy of the measurement. Agent have developed um, measurement software to have uh, PM measurement and also uh, S parameter measurement. And this is actually a sample program so that you can, uh, users can download from our website and you, uh, you can use for free. And this software controls all peripheral, peripheral instruments like SG or um, power meters. <coughs> and it supports um, some measurement modes and it, you can change the power like this and I have bandwidth to change the noise and speed. And also it supports all the calibration steps for, to calibrate all the configuration. And it supports three measurement modes. One is fixed tones. You have two fixed frequency and you have um, one fixed measurement frequency for PIM so that you can measure uh, PIM over time. And also swept frequency mode, one fixed frequency and also swept frequency like this. And PIM will go like this. And you can lock the receiver frequency with PIM so that you can have PIM measurement over frequency. And also PIM spectrum. If you put two fixed frequency here and you sweep the receiver like this, you can measure like spectrum analyzer. And this is the measurement result of our um, prototype system. And it has 170 dBc residual PIM performance. And actually it depends on the passive component used in the measurement configuration. And uh, our network analyzer has lower noise floor than residual PIM. So in other words, uh, our network analyzer is good enough to measure PIM. And this is the comparison of uh, measurement speed and also noise level of the PIM. And green line here is much, uh, is, is the most clean, um, the less noise level measurement result with I found with 10 health. The measurement speed is 100 milliseconds per second. And if you change the IF bandwidth of the measurement, you can have a faster measurement. However, the noise level is much higher than 10 Hz. So for example, if you look at the orange line, it has a higher noise level, but you can have faster measurement speed, 10 milliseconds per point. So if you are measuring a PIM level like 155 dBc, I would say, 100 health measurement is good enough. So in summary, this is our uh, proposal of ENA-based PIM and parameter measurement solution. We have more flexible configuration and faster measurement speed and more accurate measurement. And we have application notes to describe how we measure PIM, how you uh, calibrate the system. And also we have uh, sample software for uh, the network analyzer. So please visit our website to download these materials.
Okay, that's all. Any question? Thank you very much.